What's going on guys? Welcome to another video today. I am basically down to the final stages of getting this 850 done the way that I want it, uh, this new uh, Gen 5. And the final, uh, the final piece of the puzzle is getting this new Garmin Zumo XT installed on uh, the glove box extension. So we got the glove box extension installed and uh, you know we do run these Garmin's because typically when we're out in the middle of nowhere and we don't get reception, this is basically the only thing you can rely on for, uh, for any mapping or any trail information or, or points of interest. So uh, we always run with the Garmin's and this year I was really excited. Uh, Radio World has hooked us up with the new Garmin Zumo XT. So I want to get it uh, installed. Basically this video is going to show you guys exactly what we do to get these wired up and installed onto the glove box. And so uh, let's get into it. All right, guys, so I pretty much got everything laid out on the bench that you're gonna need for, uh, for this install. And I'm gonna break it down into kind of two phases. So the first thing is really just getting the unit itself mounted to the glove box. And then on the second phase, we'll talk about wiring. So first things first, you're gonna need, and Skidoo makes this really easy, just take off your glove box uh, extension, the actual door, and bring it over to, uh, to your work area. Now, Skidoo does sell uh, the Garmin as well, so you can pick it up. And the beautiful thing about this is if you get your glove box extension and you look on the back of it, you're going to see all your holes are already pre-marked. So that's the beauty about using uh, Garmin when doing this installation. Like Skidoo is... Again, they're listening to their customers, they're thinking ahead, they're making it easy for us. So this install, when you wanna go and basically get this wired up and, uh, and situated on the front of your, uh, your glove box extension like this on the, on the cover, they've already basically pre-mapped, pre-drill, or pre-marked um, all the holes for you to drill and basically we'll get it mounted up. So what have I got? Uh, so this is the new Garmin Zumo XT. Really nice, beautiful, crystal clear uh, display. And it comes with this, uh, this mounting system, right? So I've already got the bolts through there ready to go. And then uh, this is basically your power wire that goes to uh, the sled. So we'll talk about that afterwards. So first things first, um, you're basically, you're gonna be pre-drilling your holes for the mount. And what I'm doing for that is I'm using a 532nd bit, I believe. Yeah, so you'll need a 532nd bit or something similar that will just uh, be able to pre drill the holes for you. So we'll go ahead and we're going to do that first. Perfect. So those are the four holes. I'm just going to test this, make sure that they line up with these bolts once you get the mount on. Pretty much perfect. All right, so that looks pretty good. I'm gonna figure out this wire afterwards, but for now we're just gonna sort of leave it like that. Um, really good, perfect fitment. You've got just a little bit of the, uh, the bolts exposed on the back. So we're gonna get that basically uh, clamped down and we'll move to, uh, to the next step. All right, so I was just taking a look at you know, how I wanna run this wire. So basically, I mean, that's the way it sits in the mount. And you wanna make sure probably that there's no stress on this wire. Now they do drill, or there's a, a pre-marked hole here to drill through the back, but that is not where I wanna run this wire. Cause if you come in through the back, it's gonna end up being bent like this and that's gonna put stress on this wire. So I've opted to actually put it, I'm gonna put a hole through the bottom section of this, uh, this portion of the uh, the door here. So what I'm going to do is drill a half inch hole and that's where I'm going to basically be feeding this wire and then attaching it to the mount here. That should make sure that there's no stress on this at all. So uh, let's go ahead and do that. Perfect. All right, so quickly there, you can see the hole at the bottom and that's where I'm gonna feed up this, uh, this wire. You know, it's a tight fit, but if you push hard enough, you should be able to get it through. And there it goes. And once you do that, what you also wanna do is make sure that you run, there's a, a rubber piece that's, uh, that basically protects the, uh, the wire when it's not in use, so run that through as well.
Perfect. So now you've got both of those through like so. And actually what I am going to do just to be really finicky about this is I'm going to see if I can put a, 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 a grommet in there as well, just to cover it up. So we'll come back in a sec. All right. So let me show you guys what the, uh, the finished product looks like. Basically I just wrestled to get the only grommet that I had and it's not even a perfect fit, but it's good enough and it will do the job. So you can see what it's like on the backside. Just makes it look a little bit cleaner. And then uh, I'm gonna put this rubber cap back on and we'll get going with the rest of the install. So just a quick uh, reminder that when you go to attach this wire back into the mount, if you're using a Garmin Zumo, there's a small tiny little hole in the back there, right there, that's where the screw goes. So make sure you, you put that uh, tiny little black screw back in there. And that just holds the wire uh, basically to the mount. Now I'll get this mounted up to the door. So once you get all your bolts through, you've got just this small nut that goes on the back of each one. So we'll proceed and put those and get it all tightened up and show you what the final product looks like. All right, so we got all of our nuts back on and basically a seven mil to tighten this all up again. And we're good to go. We can move on to wiring. All right, so here's what you got. Basically, once you get that all fastened down, you've got your four mounting points with your Garmin Zumo mount on the front door. And then on the back, you're gonna have just your, the studs coming through with your, uh, your lock nuts. And then here's your Garmin Zumo XT. And that's it, it's on there. That's good. That looks like a really perfect fit. I'm happy with that. I can put my finger back behind it just to be able to unhook, unhook it with the clip. So this, uh, this is great. I definitely like that. It's perfect. All right, let's move on to wiring next. All right, guys, so there's lots of different ways to wire up GPS, but the way that we like to do this is to run it so that we don't need to turn the machine on in order to get power to the unit. And one of the best ways, if not the easiest and kind of closest way to tap power is to come down here and that's your solenoid right there. So you, that red cap right there is hot, so you can grab power there. And then there's a bolt down there, which you can hopefully see on camera right there. That's what I usually ground to. So what I've done is I've run the GPS wire on the Gen 5. If you look inside the glove box, on the left side, you've got your USB plug for your phone into the new gauge. On the right side, there's actually a pre-cut opening for another 12 volt accessory plug. So all I did was pop the cap out of that. I fished some wire down through. I took the, uh, just a couple of the, the screws to pull the gauge back. And then I just ran the wire right through here. And I just fished it right down there so that I could grab it here. And then I'm gonna tap that power right at the solenoids. All right guys, so I'm just gonna show you here exactly what I've rigged up to uh, basically connect the Garmin to the sled. So I've got it fused. Then I've got one of these weatherproof uh, connectors. It's just a regular automotive connector. So I've got that. And then I've got the, uh, the other end, which is gonna basically attach to the Garmin wire. And then that's it. We're gonna, cook, we're gonna hook this up to uh, ground on the sled. That will go to uh, the hot wire coming off the solenoid. And then, like I said, that'll go to the Garmin when you plug it in, you should have power. And then obviously when you need to take the, uh, the hood off, you'll have to disconnect this and uh, we're good to go. All right guys, just gonna show you the final install here. So you can see I've got this new wire that I've connected, basically grounded to the bolt in there. 
by your secondary and then ran the hot wire to the, uh, the furthest one with the red cap on it. It's that simple. That's going to basically be my plug for the Garmin, which is coming down from up under here. So I'm going to tighten all this wiring up. I've already got the connector on the other end. You'll attach it here. And then just when you want to pop the hood off, you're going to make sure that you undo that and you're good to go. It's all fused, ready to go. I think the Garmin's are a three amp or a five amp fuse. I can't remember. I'll have to pop a fuse in there and we'll give it a test. All right, so I put a three amp fuse in there, made my connection there and just coming up to check the Garmin. And it looks like everything is working perfectly. It's charging. So there you go. That's the way to wire up the Garmin. I'm going to finish up, make all the wiring nice and tight, clean it up, and then uh, we'll show you the finished product. All right, guys. So just a final look here. Uh, I've got all the wiring neatly tucked away. Actually, it's tucked away up in here. It keeps everything away from the secondary. Really, that's the only thing there. There's my plug, there's my fuse. So everything neatly tucked, pushed out of the way. And there is the final look. GPS is working. It's all powered up and uh, looks great. And for any of the guys wondering, this is not going to drain. So there's no parasitic draw really when you have this actually disconnected. So, you know, I'll take that off obviously when I, when I go inside or when I go into the hotels every night and I'll put the cap on just to, uh, you know, to keep that connector nice and clean. And really, you don't have to worry about your battery being dead or anything like that. We've been doing this for years and we've never had an issue with it. So hopefully that helps with uh, your Garmin GPS install. If you guys have any questions whatsoever, feel free to reach out to us at any time. And uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed the video and we'll see you on the next one. If you liked that video, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the Sled Addicts YouTube channel where we release content on everything snowmobiling. Also hit that bell icon so you can be updated every time we release new videos.